100%. And you're giving back. Hey, there he is. There's I, Mr. I'm, I'm the guy that gave the I I came up with the idea. I said, hey, Dennis, you should I should do a podcast with you about uh, doing future <laughs> events. And yeah. I didn't see the future enough to actually come on. That's a show, show my, on the show. I'm so sorry. My That's excuse okay, buddy. is uh, I just have too many things going on. I've yes, got too do. many interviews and too many. I'm going in too many directions. But yeah, I, I know you do. And that's why there, there's no pressure. I'm, I'm glad you popped on for a few minutes. And actually, Edward and I haven't even really talked about remote viewing the future yet. We started talking about cryptos. And now we're just talking about the process of remote viewing because I love picking his brain about that. Um, so, but Edward, it turns out that now BlackRock is saying they were misquoted on that H bar thing. I have not. That? I haven't seen that. Uh, the the information that I've seen is coming straight from Hedera, so it's not coming from YouTube pump and dumpers or or FOMO uh, info she, creators. I, I I've read it straight from Hedera. I I saw there was there was articles today where BlackRock was saying, oh well, we didn't really officially announce anything, or they're okay. they're walking it back. Oh well, we'll see. Uh, hopefully, it's not too. Hopefully, it's not too damaging news. But if it is, hey man, let that price plummet, and I will buy buy more. some more. Buy some more. <laughs> yeah, that's all. I'm, yeah. Hey man, I will buy the bad news. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. So, do you have any H bar, Dennis? Not to no. I never got behind H bar. No, we were talking about that earlier. Well, Edward, was... Edward and I are too. It, it's one that. Uh, it's not too expensive, so we kind of like yeah. that. Would yeah, you guys have been talking about it for years, a, for a long yeah. time. Yeah. yeah, you've always been behind it. So, yeah. That's anyway, the, my idea for the podcast was how darn hard it's been yeah. to remote view lately. Not just world events, but everything. It's it's like the noise level is so yeah. intense, dude. I through that with so... COVID too. I am so freaking relieved to hear you say that yeah. because we, we haven't really talked about this too much amongst the, the, the viewers, you know, um, man, dude, I thought it was just me. Really? I, th I thought it was just yeah. me. I'm like, man, that's, I'm having a really freaking hard time right now. And that's like, when you I say hard time, what do you, that. what do you mean by that? What, what does that mean? Cause the sessions, like, you know, uh, I'll put it in 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 this circumstance. You know, typically if I if I do a session, I'm like, I freaking love this session, man. Yeah. I felt yeah, it hasn't really been happening, dude. You know, yeah, there hasn't been much of a love affair with, uh, and it's like it's been hard to just been hard to do. It's been hard yeah. to do, especially the world events because every month now, okay, people demonstrating and causing havoc, war right. scenes. Natural disaster, yeah. weather event, like what can you get that isn't occurring regularly? Like right. any yeah. bad thing you do is going to be a hit or has been happening right. ongoing for the past few months. Like, like yeah. could any remote viewer say, all right, in May, there's going to be military activity? Was right. like two years ago. Or three years ago, there was no military activity. That was a solid hit two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. If anything happened, or oh, people are out on the street demonstrating, raising hell and burning things yeah. and fighting with police. Well, where isn't that happening right now? Yeah. In New York, yeah. every yeah. college across America. So cross that off. So now we've got to sit down and remote view events. Right. And it's like, well. Okay, put that out of my mind. But what if it does? What gets on? You know, it's just it's right. just it's just this right. this constant din of noise. I remember yeah. when COVID hit, that was a challenge for world events. And then when Ukraine first kicked off for those like six months surrounding that, like leading up to it and then into it, that was a it was a hard time gathering mm -hmm. noise. Do you find this is even more intense now? I've I've almost been feeling, excuse me, like <clears throat> I want to take a break and disconnect. Well, yeah. partially it's because I was just moving, and moving is it's so, stressful. Yeah, yeah. You know, you've moved red recently, zone a yeah. couple times. Yeah, a couple so, times. And with kids, that's yeah. And see, so, Mimi's got a child. That's me. So <laughs> yeah, they, they, <laughs> she's got a special needs child. <laughs> so, um, but. 
everything is just uprooted. I lost my hematite. I cannot I ordered some new ones, but I had a oh. piece of hematite that I used for 28 years. So anyway, it's, oh, wow. I, I was, I, right I was thinking of tr maybe taking a break for a couple of weeks and yeah. just say, okay, folks, I've proved remote viewing. I've proved I can remote view. I need a reset. Yeah. I need yeah. to just disconnect and not try to do a session. But then they yeah. dangle a target ID in front of us. Uh -huh. And yeah. FOMO it always gets the, like, oh, I got to do that one. I got to do that. Wow, yeah. I didn't do that. Yeah. I got to do that one. I'm going to work that one. So. Dude, but I th have been feeling the exact same, exact same yeah. way. But think about this, and maybe this is more of an internal conversation, but the experiment that has been crypto viewing and now future forecasting, right? We're, we're, there's so much, I think, that to learn from this, to include the process. I'm wondering if at some point, you know, upper management's going to say, you know what, maybe it'll be mandatory that we rotate viewers through a mandatory, like, no viewing time. Have, have any experiments been done with that outside of, you know, just within remote viewing circles that you're aware of? There's a certain point where you got to give them a break and let them reset. Right. I, I think they they do that themselves. So I think yeah. Edward and I are in a reset right now. Like, yeah. And I think part of it, Edward, I think you'll agree with this, is we have no control over the targets we do. Right. We have no input. We are totally out of the loop. And so it's just whatever they send us to. And the last couple, like, I wasn't really interested in. It was not yeah. something I would have chosen. Like, you get targets like, uh, that's, I, um, Sasquatch. What's the lady, Maria, the Orsic, the real lady? Like, yeah, yeah that was a good target. I really like that one. Yeah, you get right. some that you connect with and you just, you like, man, I right. want to, I want to remote view some more on that. Like, you turn in yeah. 30 pages and you go, man, I could really go this all day. And then sometimes yeah. you get one, you go, was that a terror? I don't didn't feel yeah. much on that one. And yeah. so we had a couple like that. that. Yeah. So not to be critical of the people choosing the targets, but no, yeah. but you're not gonna like everything that comes out. That's yeah. not critical. So, I mean, they have a wide audience that they're catering to. Some some viewers um do well on on human in, human targets some do better on right. technological some do better on right. historical and we all have our little niche where we right where we burrow into a certain type of data and yeah. um, sometimes we just don't i don't want to burrow into that so we get and so viewers get r real cranky i mean I, we, we have video of uh, several like, hours little, of video of that, I think. <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you've tasked targets where we've, ah, 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 you know. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's part of the thing is the, the viewers get real petulant. Uh-huh. They get, they get, they're little babies. It's, yeah. <laughs> so. Well, like we were talking about this earlier is that, you know, we have a since 2018 an enormous body body of work and we we work projects every single week we don't take yeah. any weeks off it is right. a remote viewing project every single week so yeah. we're constantly going so uh you know like as far as you know like recharging our batteries which is kind of what dick and i are talking about right now you know because I, I know dick he goes to the ocean he's in the ocean and i know right. that's that's great you know, I got my own things uh, that that I'll that I need to to do. I'm I'm at that point where I need to do them. You know, where I'm, I'm let that lapse a little bit too long, and I'm getting a little right. extra cranky. Yeah, and uh, so I need to recharge uh, those batteries. But it's like, you know, like we're talking about taking a break. Okay, that that target is due on you know the the seventh. Okay, I'm feeling pretty fried. Uh, I'm really burnt out right now. I don't know if I can handle it. Take a day, uh, 24 hours go go by, 36 hours go by. Ah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready. You know, yeah. Give me yeah. the target. Yeah. You know? Right. And uh, so it's not like, at least for me, it's not like I, I don't need like a month. Be right. nice. But I, you know, I'm just, yeah. it ain't that time, you know. It's 
Gonna keep sometimes going. It does, you're right. Sometimes it does take a day or an experience to, to clear whatever's in your system, to clear it out, to get yourself grounded again. I think that's really the goal is to just ground yourself and like Dick said, a reset yeah. uh, to get yourself back ready to get into it. Yeah. You know, but that's also what makes you guys professionals is when you know you need that reset, you can still sit down and pull out valuable data and information, uh, yeah. you know, because you so, need to, because this is our, your job. I think that the, some of the people within our system, I'm not, without naming names or getting too critical, but some of the people, they love all our data. Like they think everything yeah. we do is like a burnished, you know, a polished gem. And yeah. Edward and I don't don't think that. We were just talking about that in recent, like, well, my data wasn't that great. Let it yeah. let it go. And they'll go, no, no, man, you were on. That was good. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> well, you're you're one of your fa- sometimes chickens, sometimes feathers, right? Yeah. One one of your sayings, uh, yeah. But it's it, you know it's yeah. neat, and I I do love that enthusiasm. I mean, you and you guys, you know, I think your 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 biggest critics are yourselves uh, because you take so much pride in the work that you do. I mean, this has been a lifelong journey, you guys. I was, um, and you know when yeah. it's not your best, and that's okay. I was I was moaning about some session one time, and Glenn told me, Dick, your best session is your best session. Yeah, you know, no one can take that away from you. Your, your your body of work is your body of work. Like don't right. you you don't expect to be that good every time. You're not going right. to be. No one is. Right. You know, I I heard that interview with Joe McMonagall, that uh-huh. six hour interview, where he yeah. was he did targets for um, who's the guy that was associated with Skinwalker Ranch, the rich guy in Las Vegas, uh, Bigelow, Robert Bigelow. Bigelow he right? did a bunch of yeah. targets for Bigelow. And I guess he didn't hit target and Bigelow wasn't impressed with his work and they yeah. Bigelow they parted ways. And Joe goes, wow. I, apparently I didn't, you know, he wasn't impressed or didn't like my I forgot exactly what he said, but right. Yeah. Even right. Joe McMonagle for for a juicy paying customer. Yeah. Sometimes I, re- I, I remember Joe, I was listening to an interview with, with Joe and he was saying he uh he was teaching a class and he was gonna, you know, do a demonstration. For the for the te- for the class, and he did like he did a he did one totally bombed, you know. Ah, let's try another one. Boom! Yeah. I bombed on that one too, you know. Bombed on a couple <laughs> of them, you know. It was like, yeah. Welcome to well, the real world of remote viewing. Yeah, yeah. Glenn Glenn said he always told us never ever remote view to prove remote viewing. Yeah, never I do it as a demonstration agree. of the skill because. You could look at uh, Willie Mays, Mark McGuire, uh, Hank Aaron, great baseball players. You could see them go 0 for 3. You could go watch them and right. they strike out miserably. And then yeah. two games later, they'll go 3 for 4 and hit two home right. runs. But right. um, it's yeah. kind of like that. You you wouldn't You wouldn't judge baseball on somebody's two at bats. Yeah. So. yeah well, that's right. that, and that's what Edward and I were speaking about earlier, you know, in, in terms of the emotional connection to a potential target that you're doing when we're looking at predicting money markets, uh, you know, and those old experiments that were done. And, you know, the question was, like, well, why aren't you rich yet? Because, and, and we went through that, you know, that pressure that's on you sometimes or what's invested. I mean, I would imagine in front of a class, it's like, I got to get this right because I've got my students looking at me and I have something to prove here. Uh, I can see how that would be skewing your data or just putting you off target it takes some it takes some cojones to do that yeah. you know it yeah. takes some cojones and if you do well you you're feeling pretty good there ain't no doubt about that you know right but you know I, I think also with with the way you guys do it um you're not you're you're comfortable now just doing it to share the process you know in a public setting online right you're not invested in, am I right or am I wrong? You're invested in, number one, this is the experience. Number two, this is entertaining. And I think that makes a big difference too in the way you guys put things out there now. Well, I, I still get caught up in if I'm right and wrong. I'm, I you, shouldn't, you do. I, I still do. I mean, there's you a do. there's a tremendous ego on my part, which is just part of who I am. That's a, right. just, I just accept that. So yeah, I want to, I want to do it. There was one time the a Korean TV crew came to interview Glenn and Glenn said to them, 
you're not going to put the camera on the class and challenge them to do a target. You can take right. some video, but they're not going to work a target for you. And yeah. I knew they were going to do that. And so before the class, it was sidereal time and I was at work and I had free time. I went down in the basement of the TV station and it was all dim and it was quiet, 1330. And I was really revved up. I go, I know they're going to give us a target. And so I cued the target that they were going to give us. Right. And I saw this building inside it out and I drew it inside it out and I put it in an envelope. And I, when the Korean TV guys came to the class, I, I said, I want to give you something, sign this, date it, cut, tape it up. Here it is. Put the time and date and sign right. it. Hold on to this. And so they're shooting, they're doing interviews. And they said, can you work target? And Glenn goes, I would tell you, look, this demonstration only. So they give us the target ID and they get cameras right in our face. We're, we're like doing, and there's a camera right there, you know, like you right. try to remote view. And so we did it and it was, yeah. And they, they took the picture out and it was the Korean, um, the house where they hold their legislature. It's this rounded right. building and, and inside there's this, and I had drawn it inside out. And I said to the guy that the envelope I gave you, open that up. Yeah. It was, it was their target. That was the target. And I was like, I, I was just going, oh man. Yeah. And he goes, yeah. he looks at it, he goes, can you do that again? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. But it wasn't enough. <laughs> that night I was driving home and I was just going, yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. I, was like, <laughs> I bet. Uh, yeah, I, I bet. was like, but if you psych yourself up, you'll do better. Yeah. You know. But Joe, Joe McMonagle said that, that he used to do demonstration targets. He'd remote view them ahead of time. Yeah. He'd worked the target the night before. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. But yeah. not that we're at Joe McMonagle's league. But... Well, no, but oh, yeah. The, the Anyway, back to current events. Yeah. A it's just noise. a noisy time. It's like, uh, yeah. I mean. How long do you think this will last, Dick? This noise. Well, I think it's going to ramp up and get it's going to have a crescendo over the next year i think yeah at least I think so too. don't you think yeah. edward 100 percent. there in my opinion the, the closer we get to the election the, the louder it's going to get yeah and uh That's right. the outcome is uh going to create more and but it's also kind of a strange phenomenon too because it's almost like so many things have have are have happened and so fast and are happening that it's like you can't really surprise anybody with anything you get. It's no. like, oh yeah, that where whereas a year or two ago, oh man, that's a surprise over there, man. You got mm -hmm. me on that one. Uh that's kind of hard getting harder to do. And so yeah. uh you know one of the you know we we try to make it fun for ourselves. So we try to get the most off the freaking weird yeah. You know, if I say oh, I'm seeing missiles and guns, uh, you know, if, been there, okay, done that every month. The, the yeah. sun's going to rise in the freaking east, you know. Right. And, uh, like a, a hundred whales just beached themselves. Something like, like that. Yeah. Should have had that one. Yeah. 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 So like maybe one of us did. Like yeah, the the uh, polar bear drops dead at the St. Louis Zoo. Got that one. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Off the wall. Those are the one. unique ones yeah. that you guys get. And those yeah. are the ones I love those stories that because when you get those ones, that's when I say you can't dispute it. You publish it weeks before it happens, sometimes a month or two before it happens. And it's so specific. It's it and and so rare for something like that to happen, let alone to make major news outlets. You right. just can't dispute that. Those are great, those are great hits when you guys get or those. Like for for this month, for April. I had a uh, oh, this weird, freaking weird story, man. A, a, a brain eating amoeba was going to make yeah. news. What the yeah. hell? Yeah. A couple of days later, I freaking start brain eating amoeba. I saw that. Yeah, word for word, you had it. It's like, you know, again, I'm when the camera's off, I'm doing the the same dance uh, that Dick was just doing. You know, because you're yeah, like, <laughs> you, you, know, you get that's one where you right. you call your wife and you go, hey, come look at this. And you yeah. show her what you drew, and then you show her the headline, and your wife goes, "Wow, good job!" 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. That. That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, I so, put that one on YouTube, Edward, right away, didn't I? I, I, I think it was the did. the boat one because there was the 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 boat. I had the boat thing with the happening with the big ship. And oh yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the bridge thing. I didn't have a bridge, but it was just like this big oh, ship, and it's going right. up on that. You know, it's it's yeah, going up on a doing a thing, and but I didn't have a bridge. Right. Um, but plenty of boat so, shit this month. That's the interesting yeah. part of our job is like, so we got a bunch of us doing this, and then there's a big story like that, like, wow, a boat just slammed into the this major disaster, right. and I go, you know, go through the, did I have that? Did I look through my data and then go look through it? Oh, Edward got that one. Okay, all right, Daz got that one. All right, yeah. then Naeem yeah. will send a little thing out, like, hey, I think I got this one. Yeah, yeah. and we're all like, dang. God. Yeah, thank goodness yeah. someone got it right. <laughs> Did but, it, I mean, that's exactly what it is. The email goes out. Did anybody get this? You know? <laughs> yep. Who had this I one this month? Probably one of us. Yeah. Did. Yeah. So, so Edward, which is worse? Predicting some dire thing and being wrong, like mm. getting everybody freaked out, like oh, there's going to be a war starting, or missing a big one. Yeah, both of them hurt. Missing a big one, for sure. Missing a big one, definitely. Because I, I gotta tell you, and we we talked about this before. When when I'm in the remote viewing mind space and doing that, I'm not emotionally attached. It could be people getting their heads chopped off. I just don't feel anything. I'm just right. going through. Going. It's just the emotional part of my brain is now functioning. But if I miss a big one, yeah, I yeah, I feel that one a lot more. I'm like, God damn, man, that's yeah. like the biggest freaking news in the world. How come I didn't get even near that? Why? Right. So, and that would bother you more than – well, I, I mean, I think we're very careful with how we put out. I mean, it's evidenced by the things that are out there already. We put out the scary stuff, right? Um, you'd be more upset if you put out something scary and it didn't happen. Yeah. Or well, or I, if you, if no, you I'd be more, one. I'd be more upset if I missed the big one. You missed the yeah. big one. Yeah. 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 What about you, Dick? Same. Yeah, I, I always when when there's a big one, it's like, God, why didn't that one come to me? And yeah. I think the the big scary ones in my uh, experience, if they don't happen next month, they'll happen six months later. Yeah. So there's a lot that. And you've been saying that for years. Right. I've got a yeah. robot cleaning thing coming in my house. <laughs> oh, we just got one of those. I love it. Oh, I need I need one of those. Oh, it's but great, I, it would man. have to go up. Can it this go one is a Korean one and it's like called Robo Rock. And yeah. it does carpet and it cleans itself. And yeah. Oh wow. So we got this uh we got this water filter. My wife was doing Brita where she would fill it up in the yeah. refrigerator and then put it in bottles. We got this one that hooks into the water line and it'll give you it's self-cleaning. It's a really good like Brita quality filter. Right. It'll give you hot water, room temperature water, or cold water. And you get the thing you go. Wow. Room temperature water, one cup dispensing. You, know, you just <laughs> we got all these little Korean, uh, yeah, appliances that's, in our that's cool, new man. place. That's cool. Oh. The robot. You're, takeover. you're gonna be you're gonna be standing in the kitchen and you're gonna hear that robot thing say, "Hey, I'll get out of the way. I'm trying to clean the floor." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So. Um, you know what? I tell you what, though, uh, and we've said this for we've been saying this for years. If something really bad comes in, it's like, man, I hope this doesn't happen. If it doesn't happen, I don't feel yeah. I feel OK. I'm not like, oh, I missed. Yeah. Um, but it brings up another point of if we were to go back and look through just just through our world events, because our right. our archive is a uh, freaking massive. So big. But right. Just through the world events, we could probably start piecing those things in. Yeah. Uh, now that we, we have the hindsight and the, you know, just you know, Google it or whatever, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a uh, lot. I had man setting himself on fire. Yeah. And that's happened like twice in big. Yeah. Years. 
since yeah. I did that. And I don't remember that being no. people like since the in Vietnam there was a Buddhist monk set himself on fire. That was yep. big, but that that's not something that people have been doing, but now they are. And it was yeah, there's there's a bunch of stuff. We should do that sometime, just like Edward, go through our just take a day and go through our stuff and then just look back. Because I think a lot of them are six months over the horizon, not one month. Uh, some of mine are six or eight months later. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And we, like we I always say that there's, no, there's no dateline in consciousness. Like there's no 30-minute yeah. segment of universal consciousness. Yeah. Right. We're putting a, cal a calendar date on something that's just a smear of yeah. time. Yeah. And, and think about and, and that is it I wonder if that's possible because even though the event happens on this date, there's so many elements that lead up to that, right? And maybe that's what you yeah. pick up on that pulls you to that end result, but it's such a big signal that's it, present within the time frame you're looking at. Yeah, it's right. a forming right. field and all the elements of that forming field right. are coalescing already. Yeah. Right. It's building and yep. it pulls you up to that future point. Or that's interesting. The evil uh, controllers of this whole place plan it out and have it all in their, you know, the predictive programming. There could be yeah. that. Yeah. Not saying, all right, give this one to Algar, give this one to Reardon, <laughs> give this one to Daz, give that one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Naeem. They're dishing it out to everybody. Yeah, I hope that's not the case. No. Yeah, that would be creepy. That's well, crazy. it's yeah, I gotta sit down tomorrow and do the monthly events. This Me this too? podcast yeah, will probably come up. out after I've done it, but we're it recording will, yeah. this on uh what's the twenty fifth of April twenty fifth, yeah, twenty twenty fifth. Uh yeah, it's like well what like take everything, delete everything that's happened, like the president in court, you know, the former president, right. uh, constitution ripped to shreds, people <laughs> on the streets, bombing, war, like, okay, what, what can I have that's not that? Yeah. And then you just, you get all twisted around and you're, you're trying to just come to a quiet place where to remote view, you have to be in a, a null point where you have yeah. nothing in your mind. And then some little faint, speck of of an idea or an image comes and it coalesces into like right. oh that's going to be the uh you know plane crash in hawaii yeah just do for one and yeah. but to get to that quiet point it's really challenging i i think it's like maybe a longer cool down is how long a cool down do you do reardon what do you it just re it really depends because the 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 future event stuff I do completely different than if I'm doing a regular session, and so I'll get I'll usually put on like some weird experimental mindset. Okay, how am I going to do the future events this time? Uh, stand on my head. I'm going to you know whatever do somersaults and then see what pops out. So right. it's like I'm always I'm always thinking something different to to do. Uh, and then that ends up being a cool down session that could take 45 minutes to an hour just to kind of get my mind into, okay, I'm going to try it this way. I'm just going to go on a whiteboard and just, you know, go until, you know, pull, pull something out. So it really depends. How, what about you with the, with the future events? I, I do like a 20 minute meditation, cool down, just either listen to theta tones or do a, uh, just get in a dim place and just, do a mantra for 20 minutes yeah. or sometimes I will get set up and get in my quiet place and kick back and get the flipboard over here with the pen. And, and the minute I close my eyes, start, stuff starts coming. Goes, and I, yeah, before yeah. I know it, I've got 10 pages. Yeah. Just, yep. So yeah. That'll happen that way too. Is one thing comes and then boom, okay, and then da, 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 I'm just Everything taking I'm here. taking notes, or like I'll be sitting on the floor doing some breathing or whatever, and I got a notepad and a pen, 
and I'll just do like one thing, this one word, two two words or whatever, and several different things, and then go sit at the table and start hashing them through. That's another yeah. way that, that I do it too. I see. It's funny because we got all these different ways that we do it depending on what we're doing. Yeah, right. which speaks to well, kind of what we were talking about before. You know, with different types of targets, different ways yeah, to approach the, it, different tools. The the thing that we that that we know, and I'm sorry, my my this thing's gonna. You're okay, you're a robot. Me, all right, I, we can't hear it, Dick. It, the audio is oh, not you coming can't? through. So oh, okay. yeah, so we're really we're good. Me. All right, okay. Yeah, the point I was making was that um, there is no one way, correct way to remote view. It's there are arbitrary ways to train yourself to establish a communication pathway between the alert conscious mind and the subconscious mind. Right. So. You can do it CRV, TRV, do what Edward did, do what I do, do what Daz does. Right. Um, but it's it's establishing that. So Edward and I have been doing it long enough that we've opened that pathway. So we we can uh, go stand on our head or sit in a jacuzzi or sit in an ice right. bath or, you know, like, okay, the, the Roomba is cleaning my room. When it comes by, I'm going to lift my leg and say... The stock market is going to crash, you know, and just like first thing. So, right, yeah, there there are various ways, and that's kind of fun. Is is we experiment with that a little bit, yeah. So, and, and so I think that's right. great. And Edward and I touched on that too, in just terms of how you're experimenting as as you're going through this process, whether you're a newbie or you know, Edward is continuing to experiment, is what he was talking about on things, just different ways to do it and grow and improve upon your craft. Yeah. I could see I it, you know. One, Dick I did is, one. Dick will be working at Target, and there comes that little little AI cleaning robot, you know, coming through. Right. It's like okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just just back to, you know, back to business. Right back to business. Yeah. So, um, there it is. Yeah, I love that, dude. <laughs> if I had one of those, I, I talked to my wife about that. Our cats would. Oh, it'd be entertainment all day long for the cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My cats have fun with ours. We might get one just for that purpose, along with the cleaning purpose. Too. But actually, it's, does dude, it's great. It actually, does clean your house. So yeah, like coming home from work and we're like, wow, this is the best vacuuming I've ever seen, and it's it's all yeah. clean and good to go. Well, you're gonna have to send Dick. Send me the info on that uh, Korean model there. I might have to pick one up. No, here's here's the one you really want. This is if you want to if you want your wife to be happy. I do. Okay. It's it's I can't remember that it's a Korean bidet. And what it is, it's it's expensive. <laughs> it has a heated toilet seat. So the toilet seat is always warm. Your wife Jeez. in the winter will be so happy i'm telling you when you get up and you sit on a pre-warmed <laughs> toilet seat that is some luxurious living my friend you, your ass just goes oh that's so nice and then the thing it has a uh <laughs> bidet <laughs> it it does it has a bidet function with warm water yeah it has an enema function with warm water. And you can just sit there and entertain yourself. It's like <laughs> so comfortable to have this little this little stream of warm water shoot up your ass. It's just all while you're doing world events. <laughs> I may have to do world events. I might I get think like <laughs> it would be like next month. World peace is going to break out. Everyone is going to be rich and happy. All wars will end. There will be no poverty. There will be no hunger. And uh, everyone's ass is going to feel just wonderful. <laughs> like, nothing like a bidet, I'll tell you that. But I love how we went from like, hey, you guys can see the future to let's get a toilet seat warmer with a warm water enema. Like we just covered it. We covered it all tonight. You never, Nick. I you love never know where it's going to go. You, you never, never know. <laughs> but i'm i'm not joking i'm serious that is a 
my wife is so happy to have that. Just sit, um, you guys are in a cold climate, so toilet seats yeah. are cold, right? Yeah, in the, in the colder, they can and, be. and, and uh, Dennis is a lot colder than I am. I'm cold yeah, gets, in January, February, early March. Yeah, Mar you know, March. It gets, it gets cold here. Yeah, it does. December gets snipping. Yeah, it's. Uh, uh, I'll keep that in mind for myself. I mean, yeah. heck, that sounds that yeah, sounds very it's nice. It's pretty good. My wife, when we were moving in, she goes, "I want to get this electric bidet." And it's like she took it was like seven hundred bucks or something. And I went, "You can get one for thirty nine ninety five on Amazon." She goes, "No, that's <laughs> yeah. a cheap one." And so she had a plumber come and install it, and it's like yeah. all wired up and regulated. Really? Yeah. Good. Oh yeah, nice. I, it nice. sounds worth it. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, th this podcast is taking a totally different direction right now. But I'd say well, it now, sounds. And Edward, I'll send you the, the investment. Little, the little uh, the the vacuuming thing. Yeah. It senses if it's a hardwood floor, it sweeps. If it's a carpet, it it has a a brush. It, uh, it uh, carpet cleans with water. And then it goes wow. back and it changes its water automatically and tells you when the water needs to be cleaned. You put like oh. a cap full of the cleaning thing in it. Yeah. It's really a yeah. high tech. Wow. wow. I, dude, I'm sold, man. Yeah. I'll, I'll send you the, I'll send you the deal. My cash okay, will so, be like, uh, it's Christmas time. World events coming. We do them every month. Something will happen. We just trust the, the process that uh yeah. something will come to us we've done it in the past yeah it again so. yeah 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 and uh, like as we always say it you usually say at the end of every zoom yeah on to the next target on to the next one yeah and there are as edward said we have such an archive of uh of content uh you know just going back and exploring the old yes. stuff is is fascinating yeah you know, it's, it's well, amazing Remote viewers always love to remember their past. Like you do a good target. It's like, okay, right. can we just look at that one for a couple of weeks and just like <laughs> yeah. do that one? Just hold you that do one a up. bad Hang one. On the fridge. It's like, let's, let's do another one. Yeah. So, it, <laughs> yeah. It, it, we all have cycles of contact. We all have good days yeah. and bad days. We have right. moments of clarity and we have moments of uh, misinterpretation. It's just... Yeah. It's not easy, man. It's like there's such a faint little signal line and your brain interprets it in so many yeah. weird ways. Yeah. That uh yeah. But it's it's been a lot of fun. Uh it's interesting you know, unraveling and fun. this tree. Yeah. It's yeah. It's, it's, been a, it's always a good time. And I, I always say that about you, Dick, is that uh good day to bad data, right or wrong, it's always entertaining with Dick. You know, it's great when he's excited, but it's equally <laughs> entertaining when he's mad and cursing at us too. I love that. <laughs> I love getting those videos. <laughs> I was in a great mood the other day, huh, Edward? Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I don't I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make people sit through a bad session and just right. go, well, I was in S4 and I was proceeding. No, it's like this was kind of off and this is yeah. what I got. Right. And we'll try better next time. I, I'm not gonna right. I'm not going to prolong the agony. Yeah. I mean, uh, when I do a good session, I'll be the first one to point it out. Hey, oh, uh, we know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but right, deservedly true. so, Dick. Deservedly yeah. so. Yep. You've, yeah. you've done some phenomenal work over the years. We all have. All right. Well, Dennis, I'm sorry I was late. I no, hey, I I enjoyed it. I I'm glad you got the on the podcast, and I didn't come on it. I, but then I you saw, came you on know with the day talk, so it was great. Yeah. Well, what happens is I get, uh, I look at my emails. I get a lot of emails and I go like, oh, podcast. I go, that's important. So I want to put yeah. that aside and make sure I respond to it. And yeah. so I, I go on and I, I check off the less important things. And then I right. didn't come back around to it like something else came to me. So I figured, I knew you were busy. Edward shot you a text and you know I, I said, all right, if he doesn't get on, that's, that's fine. Edward and I have had a, a great discussion. So I'm glad you popped on at the end. I was um, I was yeah. doing a session on how to buy cryptos in Korean with a oh, wow. Korean lady, and that's you think that's you know okay you can explain how to get on Kraken, but then you say something, then she translated in, into Korean, and you lose your train of thought. It just it to get a flow it's, on that one doesn't 
really work. It's hard. It's hard it's translating. Hard. Doing it's hard trying to figure it out in in your your normal language. Yeah. Let alone trying to translate it. It's not easy. Yeah. Can you imagine, Reardon, if you had to start at ground zero, like you didn't know anything about cryptos, and somebody said, hey, cryptos are going to be the, the coming thing. Learn about it. And you had to go through that whole learning process again. I I would, I don't know how I did it. I got so much thing. knowledge into my brain. Yeah. yeah. I I look yeah. back and it's like, what, a, you know, the, the, the crypto, you, you know, past couple of years, five, six years, seven years with crypto. And it's like the learning curves have been enormous. They've been steep. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And luckily uh, today I can say, yeah, there's, I know a lot more than I did before. Uh, right. I don't make the same mistakes I made before. And, right. uh, you know, I get a better understanding of what's going on. 